England last weekend and with Jamaica next in the firing line, the Soka Warriors are determined to make a statement ahead of the start of the World Cup qualifying campaign against Bermuda next week. The national team stepped up their preparations today with an intense session at the Atobolan Stadium and according to team captain Otis Whitley, Jamaica are in for the battle of their lives. For some reason, I feel them, the matter what just coming out into this game because we don't come off a loss to England and the team looking really looking to be building up our best foot forward. So the matter breaks. We're pretty confident right now, and um, as I said, you know, coming off a loss, you know, we want to really rebuild ourselves. So I would say, you know, we'll be going into this game pretty confident. Meantime, assistant national coach Anton Corney reflected a bit on the 3 0 loss to England. He told reporters, despite the loss, the game was an important one for the national team. At the beginning, some of the younger players were a little bit in awe of this situation, but that's normal. That's why you play games like England, so that you can, we can get over that hurdle. And the only way you can get over that hurdle is to take a better game. But we saw some things we need to work on. We also saw, saw some positives out of it, where we were able to play. Um, we were able to keep possession a little bit against one of the better teams in the world. And, you know, it's difficult to compare in England with a Grenada or Barbados. It's just no comparison whatsoever. Now, Coach Rene Simoes and his Jamaican squad will arrive at the Piaco International Airport tomorrow evening, while the Soka Warriors will wrap up their preparations tomorrow before Saturday's encounter with a final closed-door session at the Marvin Lee Stadium. One man that is glad to be back in the mix again is Swansea City striker Jason Scotland. Scotty, a former Defence Force marksman, was originally left out from the national team but was called up to the, join the squad in training yesterday after Sunderland striker Kenwin Jones was ruled out with a knee injury. The stockily built striker, while glad to be back, insists he has no point to prove. To, to, for Jones to get injury, but obviously uh, back in through the injury, I mean, so obviously, uh, uh, necessary coming to, to prove a point, but I've been with the national team uh, a number of years now, so it's not necessary to prove a point to anybody. It's just back in uh, and just come to do a job. Obviously, June's injury, so obviously I'll just fit in and, and try to do the best. He admitted he is not match fit, having been out, for act, out of action for a couple of weeks, but he is not overly worried. I just come off a, um, a successful season. I mean, I don't think I'm match fit because I've been out for... for for three weeks. I haven't trained for about three weeks. Um, yesterday was my first session, which was Wednesday. And uh, today was my second session. So obviously I think Saturday game probably come too soon for me because I've been training regular. So it's the my second session. Well, hopefully I can go on for a good foot forward and do well. Trent and Tobago have moved up one spot in the latest FIFA rankings. The Soka Warriors have climbed from 88th to 87th position and have maintained the top spot in the Caribbean. TNT are number one in CFU, level followed by Jamaica and Cuba. Mexico are the, to are the top team in CONCACAF with the USA taking second position and Honduras third. And the top three ranked teams in the world according to FIFA are Argentina, followed by Brazil and the World Cup champions Italy. Still in football, there was a shadow of doubt cast over England's friendly international against Trinidad and Tobago last weekend at the Hazley Crawford Stadium due to the fact that FIFA was unhappy that England made more than the maximum six substitutions in the match. Head coach Fabio Capello made one more than the maximum allowed six changes. FIFA was contemplating downgrading the status of the match and erasing the result from its record. But after consultation, it was revealed that the match will stand. That means the four England debutants in the match will be able to keep their first international caps. Still in football, this country's futsal warriors suffered a heavy defeat to Guatemala in the opening match of the 2008 CONCACAF Futsal Championship taking place in Guatemala City. Guatemala ran past TNT 5-0. The Guatemalans were always in control as they led 2-0 out of the half. Remember, TNT entered this competition as of the 2008 Caribbean Futsal Champions. Sri and Tobago are expected to face Cuba next and then will go on to meet Mexico in their final game. In a quick bit of golf, Trent